the vast and mysterious universe, there exists a species unlike any other. The Spinek aliens, with their spined, red-skinned humanoid appearance, are a product of rampant technological pollution and increased mutation. These creatures, much like the teenage mutant Ninja Turtles created by the legendary comic book team of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, have a unique and fascinating history. The Spinek have toxic spines that irritate their skin, making it imperative that they keep themselves lubricated with a special lotion known as Tube, which is made from their spinal fluid and cartilage proteins. In many ways, their biology is as unique as the characters Eastman and Laird brought to life, like the Triceratops, dinosaur-like biped aliens, who have special lung mutations that allow them to adapt to different atmospheres. The Spinek can adjust their spine toxins to be more dangerous. These aliens stand at an average height of 5 feet, with a weight to match. Their mode of locomotion is bipedal, allowing them to move with agility and grace. Their dexterity with manipulating objects is impressive, and their sensory perception is highly attuned, allowing them to navigate even the most treacherous environments. The Spinex growth is not like that of humans, nor any other known species. They mature at a faster rate, and their reproductive process is also quite different. They subsist on a diet that is as unusual as their biology, they grow teeming vats of brine shrimp and usually feed by extending fearsome spined mouthparts into a bowl of cooked or fresh shrimp to shred them and swallow with lots of soupy fluid, which is as loud and unpleasant smelling as it sounds. But humans can also eat the bowls of mildly spiced brine shrimp if they have no other choice. Spinek can survive comfortably in most other climates except extreme cold, where humans are much better adapted. Spinek handle heat and either dry or humid, as long as they have a good supply of goopy tube, they are fine. Unfortunately, the Spinic are not immune to diseases and afflictions. A particularly horrific disease, known as the Spinic Plague, that has ravaged their species for centuries, causing widespread death and suffering. The plague causes infection in the poison glands in the spines and ingrown spines that poison the blood, resulting in fevers and, in some cases, death. Despite these challenges, the Spinek have developed a highly advanced technology that is the envy of many other species in the galaxy. Their unique technological innovations are unmatched, and their weapons, which harness the power of their toxic spines, are truly fearsome. The Spinek live in tight-knit communities, with each individual playing a vital role in the functioning of their society. Their architecture is impressive, showcasing their creativity and technological prowess. Their art is not to be underestimated either, with sculptures and paintings that are truly awe-inspiring. Despite their impressive technological advancements, the Spinek have a long and bloody history of conflict, much like the Tubor aliens that came before them in an even greater, more widespread empire that also fell to mutation, deviation, revolutions, revolts and barbarism. But who needs a galactic empire when you have a jar of tube lotion, right? One of the dark secrets of the Spinek Empire is that they can harvest spinal and cartilage proteins and fluids from other species, not just their own, and they are not above wholesale harvesting and exploitation of other species for their own gain. Far from it that Spinek never turn away from a quick profit at another species' expense. Spinek are not to be underestimated. Their toxic spines and advanced technology make them formidable opponents, and humans should approach interactions with them with caution. Spinnick favor cunning and respect cunning and double-crossing behavior in those they do business with. They find honest dealings a little boring and have been known to steal, lie, swindle and stage heists of their own merchandise just to see if they can get away with it, accepting fines and reprimands with good humor, but fiercely rejecting any further forms of punishment. One wonders if this similar fate awaits humanity, and the rising examples of rampant mutations in the human genome are not as unnatural as we would believe. The tuber aliens, with their fluid pumping organs, are not unlike the Spinek. They once had a great and dominant empire, if the archaeological records are to be believed. And why wouldn't they? The tuber empire spanned more than half the galaxy at one point, I think, and their wars wiped out a lot of the old worlds in the galactic center, before the supernova wave eradication on the galactic rotation calendar, which is the most accurate but also most boring string of numbers ever, so who cares? I quite like this palladium dimension. What other aliens can we find here? End of file.
These unique beings are, are a sight to behold, with their highly diverse and degenerate characteristics, all stemming from a common ancestor race. Once the rulers of half the galaxy, the Tuber Empire has long since fallen, leaving behind only their burnt-out core worlds as reminders of their former glory. The Tuber are known for their intriguing but somewhat lowbrow behavior, often indulging in black market trading, drug trafficking, and general subversion of law and order. Despite this, they are attracted to the chaos and lawlessness of anarchic systems, reveling in their mutagenic and physically variable nature. Tuber aliens are highly adaptable creatures, capable of thriving in polluted industrial areas and squalid slum housing, making them well suited to the harshest of environments. They are also equipped with impressive physiological features, including the ability to filter feed and move through the water using internal pump organs and tubes running throughout their bodies. These tubes, unique to the tuba, allow for fully functional aquatic locomotion, making them truly one of a kind. While the tuba are capable of great wealth and success, they are also known for their gaudy and seedy tendencies, blowing vast amounts of money on drugs and other vices. This can make them somewhat of an enigma and not always the easiest species to understand. Despite this, the tuba are intelligent and active creatures, often working in collaboration with other species, making them a valuable asset in the local space. However, their reputation for lawlessness and general disregard for authority can sometimes result in conflict with other sapient races, including humans. Despite this, there are rumors of legends surrounding the Tuba and their possible involvement in some of the galaxy's greatest mysteries. But until next time, stay deeply nerdy, and I will be back with more for you very soon. End of file.